to Reviews by Devin.com. Today we're reviewing the Yotop Smart Remote for Wi-Fi enabled GoPro cameras. This should work with most Wi-Fi enabled GoPro cameras. I'm using it currently with the GoPro Hero 7 Black, but it should work with most that have Wi-Fi capabilities. So make sure you check the product description, which I'll link below, and make sure to work with your camera, but it should as long as your camera has Wi-Fi. With that being said, I wanted to let you know if I want to recommend this or not. Right now, the way the remote stands, I'm iffy about recommending it. 50% chance I'll say I do recommend it, 50% chance I'll say I won't recommend it. And I'll let you know why here in just a moment. Um, first, I want to let you know why I purchased the remote. I was out with my wife last weekend. I was using my GoPro for selfies with a shorty mount. And you know, I was holding my GoPro up, had my phone over here. Now, I meant to have my phone behind me or down in my pocket so I could take use my phone as a remote. However, my GoPro, my phone was normally out. It led to some goofy videos. So I'll try, um, not goofy videos and pictures. So I'll try to post a, a, a photo example of what I was talking about. And that led me, to, led me to the decision to buy a GoPro remote. There are several remotes on the market. GoPro makes an official one for about 80 bucks. And there are several generic ones on the market. But I had specific needs that I was looking for. And this remote here met those needs. One, it was uh, very inexpensive. It was only about 40 bucks. Um, the price can vary, but it was only about 40 bucks when I bought it. Two is it, had a, it has a backlit screen, which is a great feature. A lot of the remotes on Amazon do not have a backlit screen. Three, it does have a screen. You know, it just actually has a screen. A lot of remotes don't have a screen. This screen mirrors exactly what's on the front screen of my camera. So as you can see right now, it says it has, I've shot a minute 43 uh, video. I've shot, it's got, it shows the battery life. It shows that I'm in camera mode. So that's a great feature. That way, if you're watching your camera, you can see exactly what your camera is trying to tell you. It also has a status light. This status light mirrors the status light on the camera, which is a great feature, especially if you can't see the status light on your camera. You can tell if your camera is recording or not. So, you know, those are some great features that I recommend. One of the reasons I picked it out. Another great feature is there are no ports on this, uh, this remote which means that it should be, in theory, be more waterproof than some of the other ones on the market. I'll get to waterproofing in a moment, uh, but let's, let me show you something what I'm talking about by the no ports. This charges with a magnetic charger, and this charger does work very well. It works very, very well. It charges the remote without any issues. You know, the, magnetics, the magnet is nice and strong. It'll actually hold the remote very well. So this is a great charger. The only downside is if you lose your charger, you might have issues getting another one. So that's something to keep in mind. Another great feature of this remote is that it does have a favorites button. This favorites button, one, is very easy to set. Two, you can set it on pretty much anything on the camera that you want. For example, if you like to take time lapse and you like to switch the time lapse very easily, you can switch the time lapse mode on the camera, hold this button for three seconds, three to five seconds, and then time lapse is now your favorite. So every time you press this button, it'll go to time lapse mode. You know, that way you don't have to cycle through the mode, which is a great feature of this remote. Another great feature of this remote is it does come with a strap. The strap will strap the remote onto your arm, onto your hand, onto your shoulder. You know, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to strap it. That way, if you're out surfing, bodyboarding, that type of stuff, you have the remote on you at all times. Uh, the remote is waterproof. We'll get to that here in just a second. You know, the waterproof is not as high as I would like it. I think it's about three to five meters. Um, you know, it's what the company recommends. So we'll get to that in a second. I wish it was a little bit deeper but it is waterproof. It does have a rubbery textury feel, so it's easy to find the button, especially when you're out. You know, when you have this in your pocket, it should, you know, you got guides right here. See the little guides? You have guides, which makes it, should make it easy to uh, figure out, you know, where your finger's at on the remote so that you can, you know, easily snap that video, easily snap that selfie, that type of stuff. Uh, so, now let's go over some of the cons that we've gone over the pros of the remote. A few of the cons. One is battery life is not that great. You know, the battery life... Actually, let's go back. Before we do a con, I have one more pro, and the pro is, like I've mentioned several times, the pro is that connectivity is excellent. This, I've not had any issues, any connectivity issues with this remote. It'll turn on my camera. It'll turn off my camera. I do not have to change the settings to 2.4 gigahertz wireless. It's automatically, I uh, keep my camera set on five gigahertz and this remote works with five gigahertz. It does not, a lot of remotes on Amazon do not work with five gigahertz. So, uh, without manually changing your camera. So connectivity issue, this remote, this little guy is great. I've never had it fail on me once. I've used it probably 400 pictures now, several videos, and this little remote has not failed me once. So connectivity is great. But now let's go back over to the cons. So the cons are is 
biggest con is that battery life is kind of poor. The other day I had this out with my camera. I've had this out several times and this, 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 this has always been the case. The camera, the, the remote seems to drain batteries quicker than the camera does. For example, I went out this weekend, had the remote at 100% charge, camera at 100% charge. Both devices, you know, on the same amount of time. When the camera was down to 33%, this was down to 3%, just 3%. Now, with that being said, this, this, you know, I don't know how accurate the battery charge is on this, but it did die shortly after that, so I feel it's pretty accurate. So this does drain quicker than the GoPro camera, which is a, a downside, especially since it's rated six hours, I believe, five hours, I believe. So, you know, the battery life is uh, fairly poor on this. Another issue, and probably my biggest set of cons, it's just quality control. One, kind of ironic, this is supposed to be dust proof. However, there is dust under my screen. You can't see it because the screen is on right now. I'll try to post a video, uh, a photo of it, but there is dust under my screen. Very ironic for a dust proof device. That means that when they're putting this together, there's a lack of attention to detail putting this together, which is kind of concerning. You know, waterproof on this is only three to five meters. So, you know, is the gasket installed correctly? Is there enough glue, you know, if it's using glue to keep the water out, is there, is there enough glue to keep the water out? You know, normally I would say yes, but with the lack of attention to detail with the dust inside the screen, there are also some scratches on the buttons. With the lack of attention to detail there, I'm a little concerned that, you know, this may not last as long as I would like it to last. You know, there may be some issues in the device itself. So, you know, with that being said, like I said earlier, the, there's great customer service with this company. Uh, I sent them an email. That email, I didn't actually even send them an email. I posted a review on Amazon. They sent me an email after that review, probably about 20 minutes after that review, offering a full refund. They sent me the full refund, and I can use that to buy another one of these remotes, which I will be doing. I'll be buying another one of these remotes, and I'll post any updates in the comments below, you know, if the quality is different, if it works any better, if it works any, any worse, you know, I'll post all that stuff in the comments below. Uh, but I did want to go ahead and review the remote as is because this is a remote that I received. This is a remote that I bought with my own money. I got it shipped from Amazon. You know, this is a remote that I received and I wanted everybody, one of my viewers to know how the remote, you know, was out of box. So would I recommend it? Maybe. If you can find it under 40 bucks, go ahead and buy it. Functionality is great. If it's more than 40 bucks, you know, I don't expect a 100% polished, you know, iPhone. I don't expect an Apple quality product. I don't expect even a GoPro quality accessory at 40 bucks, especially one like this. But I do expect at 40 bucks, I do expect a company to pay attention to quality control. I do expect it, you know, to look nice and look new when I open it, not like, like it has been used. You know, I expect that out of a $40, uh, $40 item. So if it's $40 or more, it's going to be up to you. If you're looking for a cheap remote that's got these features, go ahead and buy it. If functionality is going to it's going to serve you well. At least it has me so far, you know. But you know, quality control is the one concerning factor on this remote. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching this episode of Reviews by Devin, and I'll see you next time.